Dr. Jacobs, thank you for being with us. Welcome. Thank we you. want to talk a little bit about your risk stratification trial that was presented at the American College of Cardiology scientific session. Tell us a little bit about it. So we decided to look at uh, low risk stroke patients with CHATS2 score of 0 to 1 and CHATS2 VAS score of 0 to 2. Uh, these patients uh, uh, are recommended to start on oral anticoagulation and antiplatelet therapy um, for uh, stroke prevention by uh, European Society of Cardiology. There's no consens consensus in the community, uh, healthcare community about starting these patients on these therapies. So we uh, separated our, pa uh, uh, our patients and we included over 56,000 patients um, into patients uh, that were taking no therapy, warfarin therapy, uh, clopidogrel, and combination of uh, aspirin, and combination of aspirin and clopidogrel. Yeah, tell us a little bit about, that's a very large trial. Tell us about the results of this trial. We uh, found that in uh, three years, uh, five years, and long-term outcomes, these patients did not uh, benefit from taking uh, mm. oral anticoagulation or antiplatelet therapy. They did not have uh, less strokes, but had um, higher numbers of bleeds. And uh, we talk about gastrointestinal bleeds, uh, genitourinary bleeds, and any other kinds of bleeds. So we, uh, when we start these patients on these therapies, we commit them to lifetime of therapies that uh, may not protect them from having strokes, but exposes them to a risk of bleeds. Hmm. Were you surprised by the findings? We. Um, thought that that's what we would see because, again, there is no consensus about uh, starting these patients on these therapies, but um, our data is uh, very interesting because we included a large number of patients. Yeah. What are the next steps for this, for this research? This is a very good question. Um, there are no, um, this is an observational study, um, there are no randomized control trials that uh, would um, look at these patients and uh, predict what are the best therapies for these patients. So more um, trials would be great and um, uh, to help providers to guide their therapy for these patients. Well, that's wonderful. Congratulations on your research and thank you thank for being you. with us. Thank you. We invite all of you to stop by the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute booth while at the American College of Cardiology Scientific Session and visit with the researchers who will be in the booth to learn more about some of the research that's underway at the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. Thanks.